From the very beginning, dongle madness has always about all dongles, regardless of price, size, and dimension. Okay, and in particular, talking about that, it has been a while since dongle madness been covering on budget dongle. So, let's just do this. I have with me here two of the latest dongle that you can find in the market or will find in the market. The first one being which is already available in the market nowadays priced at around 12 US dollar which is this J Kelly JM12 and also this new one. Okay, this is not yet released but this is uh, pretty much a pre-release model which is Venture Electronic Odo O D O. Okay. What's so special in particular about these two, why I decided to do them together is that because both of them runs on KT deck inside. I did a review on ultra budget shootout for dongles, okay? And that included this uh, file, or should I say, yeah, am I saying it right? File KT, which was based on the first KT deck seen on the market, almost like say over one year ago. And as you can see here, this KT is equipped with KT4099 deck inside. Okay. And from that point onward, almost one year after that, this J Kelly, okay, which is JM12, made an appearance equipped with slightly different model or even entirely different model, which is KT02H2O, as you can see there. And then, so, Let's just have a closer look at what are the main differences. As you can see there, obviously, manufacturer name remains the same, okay? Vendor ID is different, of course, because depending on which, you know, brand releases them. And then, of course, uh, some of the detail there, which I think you might find interesting. Configuration max power there. You notice that this file KT, okay, is rated at 100 and configuration max power for this JM12 is rated lower at 98. I will talk a bit more on that. Okay, now let's just talk about this Venture Electronic Odo. Okay, so very recently, Venture Electronic uh, reached out to me. They mentioned to me that they want to release new dongle, which I think would be the successor or replacement for the existing dongle that they have, which is uh, Venture Electronic Abigail Pro and also Avani, which is very well known for the last two years, very well received, okay, so many pe people had it. And this would probably be the next iteration of Venture Electronic Ultra Budget Dongle, okay. And it is also equipped with KT. And after checking some of the detail using TTGK, the information that you see here, I have found that this Odo is pretty much similar in many ways to JM12, okay. So most likely what's inside is this KT02H20. But I have no way of, you know, confirming that because it says their product name KT USB Audio, okay. Now, let's just talk about the packaging itself. This thing will probably be priced at a very interesting price point. And if I'm not mistaken, it will be likely definitely cheaper than Abigail Pro and also cheaper than Avani and looking at the current trend of pricing for so many ultra compact dongle that you can find in AliExpress or even Shopee or anywhere else, Amazon even, this will likely be priced at 5 US dollar. So we just gonna take into consideration that for the entirety of my video, this will be regarded as 5 US dollar. The price might change on the final release but this is a $5 and this is pretty much a $6, the file KT and this JM12 is priced at around anywhere from 11 to 12 US dollar. Every time when I receive a new dongle, I always attach it to my long time favorite here, which is my trusty Atimotic ER2XR single micro dynamic driver. Not an easy IM to wear and not an easy IM to drive, which offers at around 96 dB of sensitivity, which is very low. Okay. And also, of course, I have with me here a magnetic planner, which is a Sivga Nightingale, my most used IM at the present moment. Okay. And also, of course, the top performer for dongle madness for last year, which is Hidis MP145 here with AAV Valkinas cable, of course. And to test in the spirit of dongle madness, right, the maximum capability of this dongle you see here, 
high finance sundara magnetic planar so you would i don't have to explain this thing is quite popular and not exactly an easy headphone to drive so let's just talk about some of the aspect of the sound itself you see here have a look here okay take a moment to digest that this is taken from the previous uh, dongle review which i have done uh, a year ago with that ultra compact dongle shootout some recal recalibration was needed to reflect the current price and to reflect some of the assessment which i think may be applicable at this present moment okay everything taken in circulation because i do still have all those dongle with me here abigail pro jm7 jm6 pro my zoo life me all over the place i don't have to show you but there's a lot over there okay so this dongle let's talk start with just a quick recap on file kt here as you would see there this is probably the least rated okay the one with the least overall score rating because i do not feel that this file kt was resolving enough okay was you know good enough with dynamic presentation especially when push right really hard driving something like this sivga nightingale or even this hafaman sundara hence the overall score kind of that reflect the total number which is just at around let's say uh, 68 out of 100 so how does the next iteration of uh, kt that improve with the introduction of this jm12 you would clearly see there that there is there are huge gap differences in terms of performance almost like eight point improvement when compare file kt against jm12 and the reason for that is that because i am hearing excellent all right dynamic presentation even when subjected to driving this sundara here and all this im that i have mentioned to you the resolution is good Okay, the imaging is good. There's crispness to the way it presents the sound itself. I am even hearing a wider sense and richer sound texture to the presentation itself. So, overall improvement from the file KT since the first time KT deck was introduced. And then, of course, let's just talk now about Venture Electronic Odo. Okay, so as you notice there, pretty much I would say that Odo slightly improve on what jm12 has started and what are the most foremost improvement let's talk about the power itself okay starting with file kt remember i am talking about maximum power from this three dongle as driven as you notice here attached to my pc using usb 3.0 all three of them side by side driving this i tested them with the same song over and over again so that i would be able to understand all right what kind of differences that I am hearing. So this file KT was, it require kind of a bit like say, uh, high volume requirement, okay, in order to actually drive this Sundara at around 64 out of 100. Okay, so it is still impressive, I would say, because I am getting the kind of sound or headroom which i would consider as usable but the sound itself does not sound like you know rich or anything like that it just sound a bit dynamic weak with the dynamic presentation itself and then the next one i tried this jm12 surprisingly this is actually weaker than file kt okay i was expecting this to perform better because if you look here my notes here this JM12, when tested side by side, driving this high five Sundara was, it needed practically 86 out of 100 on the volume, okay, to achieve similar level of listening, you know, loudness. And the good thing is that at least when the volume has been reached to the level of which I consider as proper volume match, okay, then I can hear that clearly this JM12 performed better in almost all aspects compared to this file kt and then the best part move on to venture electronic odo and this odo impressively require only 54 out of 100 that is pretty much like 50 percent of volume when attached to this high five man sudara in order for me to achieve right proper listening loudness which was already evident on this jm12 so what i'm trying to say here is that despite seemingly having similar kind of deck inside which i suspect they share the same deck, but the implementation makes a difference venture electronic was able to make this odor 
powerful enough to a point that it is quite comparable to some of the other powerful dongle, ultra compact dongle like Jackelly JM6 Pro. And how does it compare with Jackelly JM6 Pro? I will admit like after testing them side by side, Jackelly JM6 Pro does have a slight advantage of power because of that 1.6 BRMS configuration as opposed to this one BRMS. Okay. So it needed only 50%, exactly 50%, as opposed to 52% from this Odo here. So that is still very impressive, considering that this Odo does not have a dedicated op M like what you can find in this Jackelly JM6 Pro over here. Super impressive. Okay, so as you can see there overall, all right, let me just uh, point out one thing. Okay, considering that this Odo will be priced at five us dollar i hope venture electronic will not you know change or i hope really hope that they will actually sell this at five dollar then it is without doubt to me right in the spirit of dongle madness considering that you know we should cater for all type of requirement some people just prefer not to spend too much money on deck m okay dongle itself then this is absolute winner to me without doubt for this year 2024 going forward Assuming that Venture Electronic will replace Abigail Pro and Avani with this VE Odo, then this is definitely the king of budget dongle for 2024.